Folks, count along with me. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. What I'm doing is I'm counting those stars right there. What I'll do is I'll blow up the like, hmm, we'll just go 400. Now remember, what we're doing is when we get closer to, we can count one, two, and it, forget that one. It's a little bit light, it's a long ways back. But anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And if you want to count seven or whatever, and then you'll have eight here. Okay? But no matter what, the bright ones, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And then you can count that as seven. Remember that one there is there, but it's a little bit light. Okay, now we're going to go down in size. And what it is, it's going to amount to, uh, and I'm not going to say what everybody else always says. Okay. Now watch as the antenna covers those stars up. Now you got pan stars going up here. Okay, that's pan stars, and the sun is back over here because pan stars is behind the sun. Now I'll put, I have the video in here that will show you that when the satellite turned and everything like that. But now as you watch these stars, because the satellite's doing whatever maneuver that it does basically because it's in an orbit and it's basically, watch my cursor, it's going around the sun and following Earth just like this. Okay, and you can see Earth there. Okay, this satellite is B and it has to stay following Earth in a Y formation with A. Right now I'm not going to show a map on that right now, but you're going to see the glow of whatever we've got up at Saturn. Okay, it shows up on the 18th on B. Now remember I told you on the 19th or the 20th I was saying that I did, you know, but they went and they finally did all of it up, got all the video going, and you get 24 hours if you if you press play on all this. So this whatever it is, either it's a star that's over by Saturn now, hyperbolic or whatever, but no matter what, it could also be something related to as I keep going, as you see, watch the dates are changing down here. Now we'll go back and play this once real fast to the 25th because that's as much footage as we have, okay? And then you see that there and I can blow in on that and basically, factually, actually, that is the same thing, cluster, star, whatever, that is back over by Saturn, okay? And you're seeing it from B, factual, actual, okay? Now, as we go back, we can count how many stars that basically it bling bling twinkle twinkle little star that it associated with as it comes along. Okay, so what I can do is I go back, boom, right here to the 13th. Watch your date. Now remember, you can keep an eye on it and watch two pan stars is going to climb up here and basically the sun's back over there and I'll show you on the B shots in a minute because I'm going to show you the B also okay so as I go through here you watch these stars they're not getting eight by the solar panel and they're not getting eight by the star which is not a comet which also this is not pan stars but pan stars is not a star either I mean pan stars is not a comet ie it is a star soon to be in billions of years just like Earth it'll get caught in a magnetical like from a star a Sun somewhere in space remember there's suns that are 70 that's very repetitive but there are suns that are out there stars that are 78 times now this is pan stars sucking the electrical energy and as you watch I'm going to show you another date that there's basically three to four nodes now, if you get the blue background, which basically they're taking it off the internet like crazy, they've backdoored my computers, computers, more than one, uh, and took my blue footage, and they're taking all the blue footage because blue footage will give you white light all the way along here, where the where it's black and so forth. But what's great about the black footage? Now I've got that on the tenth there, and what I did is I popped back. Uh, basically I'm going to keep going forward okay and I'm going to show you pan stars now that's playing I had that one playing and basically this is pan stars 
climbing through our solar system. Okay. Now, factually, what happened was here on the 17th, it left, but on the 18th, I'll hit play, either that or even the, the 17th, I'll hit play. On the, I'll hit play on the 18th, and I've already showed people this before, that on the 17th, we'll hit play, and it made those planetoid objects, I'll have to go up here in the middle of the screen, it made those planetoid objects get a CME reactive flare. Now the sun is putting a CME off. That material is going way out there. But it's actually the static of pan stars, which is basically a star, because all this black here is all white. If you look at it with the white with if you look at this with the blue background, all of this will end up being white and also the magnetical is very thick black and white that you can normally see with earth and so forth and such so they have stolen the blue background footage of basically the same color that you what you see when I was showing you the factual of now what I'm going to also you, you need to pay attention to is this object that comes around the Sun and I've been telling you and telling you telling you but see we've got a good movie of it going by going clockwise around the sun because the sun's over here and then it actually steals some of a lot of the luminosity which is basically that's right it's DC current off of the sun electrical current okay and as it goes away we'll know in the next few days of it taking and, and then this the earth will basically uh, get now I'll hit play on this one here and you can realize how much it dimmed earth's luminosity okay on that 24-hour period there the earth didn't have much luminosity from the Sun and the Sun didn't see me too much it did but it was seeing me and this was actually catching a lot of the energy from the Sun now this object is rotating around clockwise which is nothing known to us so far in our solar system okay now is it barely on the outside edge of our solar system no it's not because it's been close in on our solar system because it's actually closer than Saturn okay so factually I can take you back we'll go back and we're looking at the 21st here on that and we can get you to realize as we go back the stars start adding so from the 13th again you watch and those stars and remember that's pan stars just rising up above earth there over by the sun and the factually is that whatever it is it's that's making these stars bling over here is going to get bright onto the 25th and we probably will see this getting brighter and it's up by Saturn and it's moving this way because even no matter what see the satellite is staying in closer to Earth because basically it's it's stuck in a Y that it little B no art here real fast it's always stuck B is stuck just like A is stuck they stick there just like a wheel they just keep on and basically I'll just take the black ink for a second and I'll go like this they just keep on cruising in a circle but they stay locked at this Y so whatever we've got over here at Saturn, okay, I'm just going to make a node of anything, any size, because this satellite is staying somewhat tight. It is going a little bit. We might get, be getting a little bit of a motion where that satellite B is getting a little bit closer to that, but then that locks us in that we have another sun over by Saturn no matter what that is hyperbolic because we've seen all the, the blingity bling bling, okay, and then that's the next closest star that's bling bling and then Alpha Centauri A just the star itself just the star okay actually just the star okay is somewhere doesn't matter 360 okay so no matter what I'm gonna show you what and remember proximity Centauri A and B and basically C because proximity is a star too or out anywhere in space it doesn't matter we'll find out that location later but that's the
In the next couple of videos, I'll have the closest stars and stuff like that a list, but we actually might have actual scientific proof that just by data that these Proximi Centauri A, B, and basically Proximi are probably, this might actually over by Saturn be just about as close or closer. So we basically now know our three closest stars better than what we've already known before. And it might, because this is the brightness of how much basically Saturn's over by a star right now. Remember, Saturn rotates around the sun, which the sun is over here. This is the brightness over here. And I'm gonna step this back and you'll see, see Saturn and then the shield covers it up. So there's basically a star over by Saturn right now. Saturn is over by some hyperbolic star or stars right now. Okay? As you'll see that basically when they move the satellite, you see they come down and around. They did a rotation. That's the sun right there that the satellite's over top of, okay? Then that's B across, and this was from A. All this footage was from A. So then as we rotate away from the Mars and Venus, look that they did a peak, because um, basically they did this to get a peak at ice on. This possibly could be ice on right there by Jupiter. We don't really know. But no matter what, we've got another super giant or a sun that's basically way the hell over here in our star belt and everything like that. Basically bling bling star to star because this is the star action and the brightness that's over by Saturn. And this is Earth and Mercury as we come back around and through here. And then that's Saturn. And then that's whatever is over by Saturn that we don't even know about. And i.e. then Earth and Mercury end up back in their right positions. And we step again, you see the star action twinkle twinkle basically hyperbolic or whatever up by Saturn and as the satellite moves away okay it goes around there it comes it goes over top of the Sun that is basically the Sun that it's going over top of then it's over there looking at Venus and so forth and then we have whatever super giant stars suns that we have way out and maybe one of these could be ice on but no matter what we want to know what the hell that is with way out behind Jupiter also okay so then we step some more and then you get back and we got Earth and Mercury again as we come back around. And basically, as you watch, Mercury will end up being closer to the sun, but not this sun. Because basically, Mercury is close to the sun here, the sun here. This is the stars and the suns that are way over by Saturn right now. Okay, and then as we step, I went the wrong way, but as we step back, Mercury will get closer to the sun. And Earth is out here, which is the bigger one, farther away. And no matter what, as I reverse that, go back to this. This is Mercury here, and this is Earth here. As we go, then as it gets stepped over, the shield gets back up over top of those stars that are over there by Saturn. And then Earth and Mercury end up back in their normal positions. This is the normal position and looking of, of A with the stars over there by Saturn. Those are, there's a star, a hyperbolic, because we've seen it turtling around a lot in 24 hours. So this was the footage that basically the 19th is when they did the spin on the satellite. And the factual is that it's not getting any closer to the satellite basically. It somewhat is because the satellite's moving toward it. but. There are, there is a hyperbolic star or stars, star belt over by Saturn right now in Saturn's current position. Okay? And remember, we've got pan stars that suck this electrical energy up. And on this state here, you have that. And then I'm going to be able to show you hopefully before this right here that you'll get three nodes and this is what we're going to study in the next video because we actually get an x-ray version where we can see that there's actually at least three nodes to pan stars as it came ar around it's basically a star on the blue ones basically the black that you see down here that you see not the black that's coming off the sun but this was all white on the blue background footage that they've, they've, they're skyping up off of the internet. They don't want you to see it because pan stars was not a comet. Basically a star or a future Earth somewhere out in space because it's going to get magnetically caught up in some star solar system. Okay, 
So that's why the Germans are taking people up in the airplanes at high altitude and letting people watch 